Son, therefore, shall make you free. Ye shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. Orlando, God loves you, but you have to turn from your sins. He made a way of salvation, but you have to repent. He made a way for you to be changed, but you've got to confess and admit your sin and be willing to turn from it. And he promises you a new heart. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh, but you've got to be willing to turn to him. Glory to God. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. My friends, I'm here to give you fair warning tonight that if you're in sin, you will not make it to be with God. You've got to have a remedy for the sin problem. You've got to have a place where you call out to Him and you're willing to forsake your sin. You're willing to confess and admit that you're lost in your sin. If we'll call out to Him for all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, you're no different than anybody else upon this face of this earth living right now. There's sin in your life and Jesus Christ came to set you free. He came because He loves you. He came and He willingly went to the cross that you can be set free free are you willing to call out to Jesus Christ are you willing to seek him until you know him my friends uh, sin is only fun for the season but in the end you're gonna stand before God nothing that defiles shall enter in no one will enter into heaven that's still living in sin you must repent of your sins you must call out to God I'm here pleading with you tonight my heart is bleeding for your souls would you hear the voice of God through his servant tonight Jesus loves you. We're concerned about you. How many of you tonight might take your last drink? How many of you tonight will take that last smoke? How many of you tonight will indulge in that last time of fornication? How many of you tonight will die in the midst of a sexual act? Can I tell you that that's not the Lord's plan for your life? Jesus died that you can be set free from every one of your sins. Would you call out to Jesus? tonight it's not too late it's not too late for you to change but you've got to be willing you got to be willing to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved I say hallelujah glory to God if you call out to Jesus you may be saved but if you're still going in sin you do not know him praise the Lord glory God praise his awesome name he has made a way for you to be free from sin he loves you he died on the cross if you're still living in sin tonight you do not know him according to the authority of his word whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin and the servant abideth not in the house forever but the Son abideth ever, the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I say hallelujah, glory to God, you can be set free tonight, hallelujah. You don't need to be bound in sin any longer. I'm telling you there's freedom from sin tonight. I say glory to God, there's freedom, hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory to God. He is able to set you free, glory to God. Do you hear us tonight? You're, you're going to die in your sins if you don't call out to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. There's a difference between religion and salvation. For religion can be based on hate or love. Most everybody has religion, but a Christian has salvation. And salvation comes from God above. 
Now Jesus said to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot enter in the kingdom. Are you sure about your soul, my friend? Well, there's a difference in religion and salvation, for religion can be based on hate or love. Most everybody has religion, but a Christian has salvation, and salvation comes from God above. Not everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, my Savior said would enter in, but those who keep our God's commandments run the race without peace, without pride. Well, there's a difference in religion and salvation, for religion can be based on hate or love. Most everybody has religion, but a Christian has salvation, and salvation comes from God above. Do you have salvation tonight? A lot of people are just caught up in religion. I'm not here to talk to you about religion tonight, but I'm here to talk to you about the reality of Jesus Christ, the one who died on Calvary, the one who gave his very life's blood, and it ran red that you can be free from your sins, but you have to call out to him. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross that you could be set free. He made a way for you to be free from your sins because he loves you. But if you continue in your sins, you do not abide in his love. But I got good news of the Son, therefore, shall make you free. Ye shall be free and eat. Hallelujah. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will cut my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God, and they shall know.